Hello, Erev Tov. I hope this message finds you well. There's a really famous discussion that was started by Rav Yosef Karo, author of the Beit Yosef over 500 years ago, related to Chanukah. The question he asks is as follows. The miracle of Chanukah was really seven days, not eight days. So why do we keep eight days of Chanukah? After all, they found the oil. It burnt the first night. That was normal. That was expected. It was the next seven nights when the oil continues to burn. That's the miracle. We should just celebrate seven days or light the candle for seven days instead of eight days. Famous question. There are hundreds of answers given by different halachic commentators. I want to share with you one idea that I saw in the name of Mordechai Eliyahu, the former uh, chief rabbi uh, of, uh, of Israel. And this is also brought down in Rav Kook. Rav Mordechai Eliyahu suggests that the reason why we have a Chanukiah with eight instead of seven is because it would be prohibited to have a menorah with seven candles on it. Why? Because this is what existed in the Beit HaMikdash. And we're not allowed to do or to copy what they had in the Beit HaMikdash in, uh, in our own homes. He even suggests it's a problem to have a menorah with seven candles on it because of, uh, of what existed in the Beit HaMikdash. And therefore, we add an eighth candle to the Chanukiah to show that it is distinct and different from what existed in the Beit HaMikdash. What's the deeper message here? Rav Kook points out that the difference between our Hashkafat Olam and the Yivanim is that we have a notion of Kiddusha. We know that there are holy matters in the world and there are also things that are secular. The Yivanim had no notion of Kiddusha. We know that certain things are sacrosanct and other things are, are non, non-holy. And we have to understand the difference between them. When it, with regards to time, we have the, during the week, Sheishet Yimea Shavua, and we have Shabbat. In terms of space, we have the Beit HaMikdash, Eretz Yisrael Yerushalayim, and we have Chutz Eretz. In terms of individuals, we have the Kihuna, Levi'im Yisraelim, we have uh, Korbanot, we have Kedusha, and we have things that are secular, that are mundane, that are not imbued with holiness. And understanding the difference between these two things is critical to our Hashkafat Odam. We have to know what fits in within a Torah worldview and what is outside of that. We need to teach our children to think critically, to look at the world through Torah values, to know what is Kodesh and what is Chol. That is the lesson of Chanukah. And that's why we make a distinction between what existed in the Beit HaMikdash and outside of the Beit HaMikdash. This is the message of Chanukah, according to Rav Mordech Aliyahu, as well as Harav Kuk. So wishing you Chanukah Sameach in just a few days. Kotov.